Stampers! Today I'm going to show you a really quick tip. I was asked this week on how to use the Stampamajig, so I thought that was a perfect time to do a video and just show you how to do it. So when you buy the Stampamajig, you get this T and you get an imaging sheet. So here's how to do it. For this example, I'm going to use a cling stamp set. And what that means is that you actually can reposition these on and off. So that's where this imaging sheet will come in handy. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp my coffee cup where I want it to be. And then I want to do my greeting inside this space. So I can eyeball it or if I don't want to eyeball it, I can do it this way and know that it's going to go exactly where I want it to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the imaging sheet and put it directly into the corner, snug on top and on the side. We're going to take our greeting and then we're going to put it right into that corner and press it down into that imaging sheet. So that's going to put it there. Now we're going to pull back in our piece and we're going to go right here where we want it to be. Take your T, put it back, and then carefully move the imaging sheet without moving the paper on the bottom. And then we're going to take that back in and put it right into the corner again. And that is exactly where I wanted it to go. So that makes it super easy to line up your stamps exactly where you want them to be. Now I'm going to show you another tip using the wood stamps. Because the wood stamps don't come off their blocks, there's actually something else that you can do instead of using the imaging sheet. So what I did is I took some vellum cardstock and I just cut myself a little piece and I put it into my corner just like I would have with my imaging sheet and then I put a little dot here so that I knew that that was the spot that went into my corner and I did the same thing. I stamped it right into there. So now when I take some cardstock I can do my image and then use this and this is going to be my permanent imaging sheet that I'm going to put right into my wood case so into my storage case I'm going to put my greeting right exactly where I want it to be again you can see the dot is right here put that into its corner and then I have also put a dot exactly on my stamp so that I know that that's the part that goes into the corner and stamp it down and there you go. Really wonderful easy lining up. So if you have trouble with lining up your stamps then I'm going to recommend that you get the Stampamajig. It is a great tool and it's super simple to use once you get to practice it and know how to use it. So thanks for coming by to listen to this tip and I will see you soon. Mm -hmm.